What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today I have a day trading recap for you. Traded uh, two stocks today and had a loser and a winner. All right guys, so let's jump right on into it. Here is the live trade that I recorded on my first trade. I took this trade a little bit too early in the morning. I should have let this set itself up. Uh, I got too antsy, I'm, I'm gonna say. We did have this doji candle here, which is usually a sign of a trend reversal. So I thought we might, you know, get a little a little perk over VWAP here. So I took a starter position, 250 shares at TTNP uh, at 225, but you know, factors in commissions. Uh, so 227. Uh, was where it averaged me out. I was looking to add in a high volume break over this VWAP over this 230 area See, we're breaking over VWAP but look at the volume Really like volume So I didn't you know pull the trigger on adding there So I just held it and this you know this trade took six minutes We're not going to sit here you know for six minutes and watch this play out uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward a little bit here I do end up uh, putting a a stop order a physical stop order at 213 because the low of the day was 215 So I figured you know, we might get retest that area bounce back up uh, We had some you know volume increase here So I thought we might squeeze but I, I decided just to put a, an actual hard physical stop in place order in place and then get my other montage here ready to add another 250 shares if we broke over with high volume and if we saw a real nice increase I wanted to add even more up here in front of high day instead of taking profit just because lately we've been seeing the last two days some real big moves uh, so that's that was my plan add you know 250 here 250 here 250 here and start taking profit as we broke out uh, but as you can see uh, the stock has real hard time at BWAP and then you look at that pullback pulls back and uh you know there triggers my my stop so i'm out of the trade and then so it was only a three minute uh trade or so not six minutes but i recorded six minutes just because i wanted to record the continuous action as we continue to go on and make lower you know lower uh days lows there and that's it it kind of bounces off that 90 ma uh and then i turned over to cifs just to take a look at it because you see there it's starting to pop over VWAP. This is CIFS, not TTNP. And that's my next trade there. So let me bring that one up for you. Believe it is this one. Yeah. So see, let me pause this real quick here. So CIFS is a Chinese stock. And then we had a lot of Chinese stocks making some quick little pops today all the way from big caps uh, uh, large caps to down to the small caps because uh, President Trump uh, has been able to you know agree to make a do an extension on tariff deals that they're working on with trade deals uh, as China has decided to purchase you know some some more stuff from from the United States like rice etc so you know they're still battling forward you know back and back and forth with their deals and trying to I'd imagine do something that you know as a win-win for both parties. That's the only way you, you really make a deal uh, when both parties are happy. So uh, with that in the news, we had a lot of Chinese stocks making moves and gapping up today. CIFS was one of them. It was one of my it was on my watch list uh, earlier this morning, uh, along with CCCL that you see here on my watch list. Uh, so you can see here, you know, it was having a hard time getting over VWAP. Once it did, we had a nice increase in volume. That's when I had it on watch. I really should have just bought right in here. This is about that 190, 195 area between here and here. And, uh, you know, just held on to it for that, you know, kind of push up and re-break. Instead, I kind of missed this whole ordeal heel here. And we had this flag, which was flagging above VWAP and the 90 MA. And we were bouncing off of this area on a real nice increase in volume there, right? Because see, we pulled back and flagged on decreased volume and bouncing out of that flag on an increase in volume. So I, knowing the environment we're in, I got a little bit more aggressive on this one and immediately took uh, a thousand shares at 209. Again, factors in commission, so it averages it out to 210. Um, I'll show you my orders in, in a second once we play this out. But this is where I got in, you know, and, and I decided to 
watch this stock play out and see what we were going to do. Uh, I would have liked to have added in this, but my previous trade on TTMP, even though it was a real small red trade, it was still a red trade. And when the first trade of the day is uh, red for me, it really, really gets into my head. It really gets into my head. It's so annoying. I hate it. Uh, but my plan was uh, to scale out of this trade. So I really wanted to add another 500 shares so I can scale out in three 500 share lots. But I didn't. I didn't get to do that. Uh, and you can see here, you know, I'm in the trade. Little Cuban coffee, by the way. Uh, Want to drink it before it gets cold. Uh, I'm in the trade, you know. We're seeing that that 220 was high a day. I'm in at 210, so it's decent enough. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward. This is it. It is an eight minute uh, clip here. We pull back in a little bit, but we're still flagging, you know, kind of looking like a flag. These are three minute candles, so on the one minute, you know, we were flagging uh, there. And then we get the breakout. I take out, you know, 500 shares right there. Uh, right there, 221, I take out 500 shares. And then I hold on to the rest. Now, before, obviously, I was in the trade, I, you know, I look at the daily. And on the daily, we had some tops at 240. CIFS doesn't have any news itself. It does have, you know, a decent short position in it. So we know there's shorts in there that are going to have to cover. Uh, but it didn't have any news itself. And with those tops at 240 and my previous red trade and TTMP, which was the one that had news and got stuffed, I wanted to play it safe. And I get flat here in front of 230. Well, not in front of 230. I get flat as we break over 230 in front of 240. 240 was some resistance points on the daily. So I get flat right there. Boom. As we broke over 230 there, I got flat. Thought I was getting filled at 231, 232, but I got filled at 230. Uh, and that was it. Kind of a big mistake in a sense. Why? I had 500 shares. I could have easily sold 300 shares, kept 200 on on deck. You know, I could have. Uh, I was already green on the day at that point. So I could have done that. Look at that extension. Look at that. All the way to 250. I could have gotten flat there at 250. Nothing wrong with that. But it keeps going. Look at that volume increase on the bottom. Crazy move. And it, I don't know if I caught it here. I don't know if I did. I don't think so. No. It does make a move up to three bucks. <sighs> Would have made so much more money. The moral of the story in this video lesson is we have to get used to holding on to at least one small piece. Had I held on to at least 10% of my entire position here, you know, into this extension, I would have made real good money. I would have made real good money. I'm, I'm sitting on a nice little green day, but it would have been a nice big green day <laughs> for me had I held on to at least 10% of my position on that. Nonetheless, it was a good trade, brought me back to the green, you know, keeping the loser small and the winners bigger. Uh, let me show you my trades here. So... Oh, look at this. And we're creeping up right back to... Oh, we actually made a new high day, 315, while we were doing this video. Nice. So 209 entry, 221 exit, and 230 exit. That was it. I'm having... I've noticed that I'm doing way better when I'm trading, not even at 940, 945, when I'm trading at 10 o'clock. When I'm basically trading at 10 o'clock, that the patterns are a little bit better and the volume's a little bit you know, thicker, I'm doing better right now in current market conditions. Uh, when we were having a lot of pop and drops, I was doing better before 10 because I would get in, get take my you know, 15, 20, 25 cents and get out. Uh, now I'm still kind of used to that. So I'm having a hard time holding on for those bigger extension moves. Hopefully tomorrow I can capitalize on one of those. I'm not sure if I'll take another trade today. Uh, CIFS is still a monster. As you can see, you know we made that push over at three bucks. Real nice continuation of increased volume. Pull back, decrease volume, break out again, increase volume, each time holding this 90 MA as support, bouncing off of it real nicely. You know, you could have gone along here at 250 and uh, sold some at 270, 280. Nice 30 cent profit there or held down for that high day retest. Plenty of ways to make money in a strong stock and it gives you so many different opportunities. I hope you guys had a great start to your trading week. How did you do today? Drop it in the comment section below. What did you trade? Let me know what your entries and exits were and any questions you might have. Remember to hit that subscribe button, give it a like as well, and I'll see you on the next one.